All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, the bonds unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his brothers. Peace and blessings, salutation to the hopeful elect out there pushing his word and truth and his sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners who may have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. <clears throat> and what I want to get into. Okay, um, this morning, you know, I was dealing with, you know, I always think about the goodness of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know, I always have the goodness and the expectations of, you know, the glory, you know, and the joy, you know, that's to be bestowed upon us eternally, you know. The Lord is going to do good unto his people, okay? And as we go through the vexations of this life, you know, we always have to be anchored down, you know, by the joy that's within the scriptures so we don't be over overwhelmed, you know, with depression, you know, with sadness. And those things are going to come, you know. Life is changing, you know, and especially as we get closer to prophecy, you know, we're going to see drastic changes, you know. But it's all part, you know, of our sacrifices. We fight for righteousness, man. Okay, you know, this, 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 this ministry is not a fairy tale. Okay, it comes with a fight, you know, it comes with a fight. And after the fight, there's a reward, you know, and we have to remember that we're in a fight, you know, but the scriptures give us all the, the knowledge, the understanding and the instructions and the hope, you know, the hope and, and, and the joy should come from the scriptures, man. That's why the scriptures you know, the understanding of the scriptures is known as what? The comforter, man. All right. So when you read St. John 16 and 33, it said, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And see, our peace is in your house, shot, man. You know, in the world is going to be tribulation. You're going to go through changes. You're going to lose things. You're going to sacrifice things. People are going to betray you. People are going to, you know, we're going to go through that tribulation, man. But guess what? Our peace is in your house shot and the promises, man. So as we look out and we see these prophecies happening, man, that means the Lord about to make good on his promises, man. And all we have to do is endure. We're right here, man. We're extremely close to seeing the favor of the Lord in the earth, man. Let me go to one of my favorite scriptures, man. You know, because we go through a lot of hard days, man. We, you know, we go through bouts of anxiety and, 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 and depression, man. You know, that's typical in the ministry, man. But what has to be our anchor is our joy in Yahweh, our peace that comes from Yahweh, man. You know, Psalms 27 and 13, I had fainted, okay? <laughs> I had fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Okay? We're about to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yahweh Shai is going to conquer the earth in righteousness, man. And all these things that are uh, uh, tribulations unto us, that are trials unto us now, okay, will be no more. You see? The scripture said, I have fainted. <laughs> okay? Unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, that was the only thing that was keeping him anchored, was knowing that eventually he's going to see the goodness of the Lord in the earth, man. Okay? Everything is going to be restored, man. Okay? Our minds are going to be fully restored. Our bodies are going to be renewed. Okay? Every family is going to be restored, man. Everything we lost, we're going to get back eventually, man. Okay? And we have to think as immortals, man. Because you think as a as a mortal, you'll be sad all the time, man. You know? You you will be overly depressed. Overly, you know, uh, 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 uh you know, too much anxiety, man, too much stress. If you thought as a mortal. Okay? We not losing nothing, man. <laughs> this is all temporal. This setup is temporal. Every Israelite coming back in the kingdom in their right mind okay it's high born they're going to come into an inheritance our sons and daughters are going to be born into abundance 
They're going to be born into having servants. They're going to be born into the new covenant where they're, where they're going to be programmed to please the Lord perfectly, man. Okay? On this side, it's a shit show. That's why you got to let go. We just got to let it go, man. It is what it is, man. You know? Chalk up the loss, man, and hope for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, man. Okay? This is verse 14. It says, wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart which is thy mind wait i say on the lord man so we will we're prisoners of hope well we have to wait on the lord's goodness all right to kick in kick in in the earth man you see and everything that we lost he's going to give us back okay that's why he told let's go to matthew man we always get it but we gotta drive on the point this is matthew 19 and 27, it says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. You got to let that sink in. Because we read these things and kind of breeze through sometimes. But the apostle Peter said, We forsaken all, man. <laughs> okay? We let go of everything on your behalf. Speaking to Yahweh Shai. And follow thee. Okay? What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? Because you understand, he was speaking to the disciples, and they was all working class men. Yahweh Shai was a carpenter. The, the, you know, Jake was a, a, a Peter. You know, a couple of disciples that was fishermen. All right, he had Matthew as a tax collector, you know, but he was speaking to working class men, which is at, is at the bottom of the caste system, man. You know, the bottom, a working man is the bottom of the rank in the earth. Okay, so he's telling them, look, you finna, you finna have a great promotion, man. Okay, even you sisters, like you being married to these men that's about to be have these great promotions or the lord is grooming you to be joined with these men that's about to get these great promotions in the earth like the hell with this regular ass life we got man as peasants under this man's wicked system man under this anti-messiah system man okay the lord is finna promote his people in the earth man on a whole nother level you see and that's the joy that we have to look forward to man and it's gonna be eternal we in the flesh. We die here, man. We su subjugate to anything, man. We can get stung by a wasp, you know, and not know we allergic and be out of here, man. We're vulnerable as hell here, man. Okay? Fragile as hell in this society. Okay? I, all I hope is in the return of your house shot, man. We have no expectations here, man. Okay? It is what it is, man. You see? So... Reading on, it said, verse 29, And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. <laughs> We're coming into So the things that we lose, that we have lost in what? These few years we've been on earth. Okay? Don't compare you remember the and the, the reward always outweighs the sacrifice. And the bigger the sacrifice, the bigger the reward it will make. Because if the reward always outweighs the sacrifice, okay, this is this is reward, this is sacrifice. So the bigger the sacrifice, the reward has to go up as well to be able to outweigh it. You know, if that makes sense. And you gotta think like this, man, because we're finna come, we finna go through changes, we finna experience things, we finna go through changes and experiences on the way to salvation. So we gotta think on this level, okay? So we won't be broken. So we, you know, you're gonna go through emotion, but you don't want to be stuck there, man. You know. <clears throat> Verse thirty says, "But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, man." And right now. We in the last positions in the earth, man. As Israelites, we the tail. We, we, we the dead last, man. Okay? But Yahweh Shah is coming with great promotion, man. Because when you go into, you know, our people that don't believe, why, why do they not believe? Why are they caught up in these lifestyles? 
you know, that they live, okay? It's because of who's ruling the earth. He set up the system of, 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 of um, you know, pretty much, he set up the system of broken families. He set up these systems, okay, of your children being raised by media, okay? He set up the system where people are headstrong in the Christianity, why people love pleasure more than anything, man. Okay? It's because if I, if the gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the gods of the world have blinded them. Okay? This current, we got to remove this rulership. We can't fix, our people can't be fixed with this rulership in place, man. So the thing is, we're dealing with the source of the, 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 the gospel deals with the source of the problem. That's removing Esau Edom. Okay, let's get this in John. Okay? Because we look at out on, out on our people and we're like, damn, I wish they could just get it together, man. At least be, you know, decent. At least be, you know, at least, uh, uh, you know. You're like, damn, you look at them. You know, but as long as this man is in power, it, it only get worse for our people. So we need Yahweh Shah to come wage war and righteousness against this devil, man. Okay? That's what we need more than anything, man. And then Yahweh Shah going to give us everything on the back end. We got to understand the authority that Yahweh Shah has been given. And when, you, when the scriptures say Yahweh Shah, all right, it has been given all power in the heavens and in the earth, that means he's gonna, he has control and authority over the spirits. Because all our people have spirits within them, you know? And it's going to be Yahweh Shah coordinating, you know, the people that we lose. He's going to coordinate where we get those spirits back. The people that's around us now, you know, they're dear unto us. Yahweh Shah going to coordinate where we get them back in righteousness, man. He has that authority, okay? So this is St. John 10 and um, 10. It says, the thief cometh, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay? Esau, he steals away the minds of our people. Okay? He has destroyed the minds of our people. But Yahweh Shah is going to give us our people back in righteousness, man. He's going to give us everything back in righteousness, man. Okay? You sisters, you're going to be virgins again. He's going to give you everything back, man. Us brothers, we're going to become rulers again in righteousness, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah is finna give us everything back. Okay, so there's a lot of things that we gotta chalk up as losses for the temporal to get it back in the eternal, man. It is what it is, man. We gotta think like immortals, man. Okay, that's why scriptures say thinking like a mortal is a weak nature, man. And then to have you depressed and sad and you know all the time. But I say you're gonna go through that. We all go through those those moments, man. You know, but the more we have hope in this and we understand the hope that's in these scriptures, man, that the more comfort we have, man. You know? So Lord will you brothers and you sisters edified to the next time I say shalom. Quam Yasha Allah, Abba Bao DTA soon, shalom.